Let's calculate the molar mass for magnesium acetate. So you'll often see the acetate ion written like this here. It's the same thing, just rearranged a little bit differently. So either way, you're going to get the same molar mass when you find the molar mass for magnesium acetate. Let's just go with this one right here. First off, we find magnesium on the periodic table. That's right here. 24.31. The units are grams per mole. We'll write those at the end. We just have one magnesium atom. We'll add to that the molar mass for the acetate ion, and then we're going to multiply that by 2. That'll look like this. So the, everything here in these brackets right here, that's the acetate ion. That's this right here. And the 2, that's the 2 here. So we have two acetate ions. Inside the brackets, we have carbon. That's the 12.01, two of those. Hydrogen, 1.01. We have three hydrogens. Oxygen is 16.00, and we have two of those. So we have 24.31 plus everything in parentheses. You multiply first, then add these together, 59.05, which we multiply by 2. So we multiply this by 2, add it here, and we get 142.41, and the units are grams per mole. So the molar mass for magnesium acetate here 142.41 grams per mole. Note that my periodic table, it rounds to two decimal places. So if your periodic table rounds to a different number, you might get a slightly different answer here. This is Dr. B with the molar mass for magnesium acetate. Thanks for watching.